Tay. 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 This one's for my girlies. Oh, my goodness. I hope no one's surprised. I'm going to start every episode like that. I think that. we got it now, man. I know. I just, just need a little jingle behind it. I don't know if we need a jingle. Shout out to What's Jamie Foxx. What's up? I don't, know if we need yeah. I don't know if we needed it twice. I'm keeping that energy every okay. single time. Wow, wow, wow. I got some new girlies on here. If you don't know me, my name is Tay. Uncle Will's here. We got Uncle Will here, and I ain't even going to hold you. The nieces love me. Go ahead. Give me I, my love. Give I me my flowers, yo. I would disagree. Give me my flowers, yo. I would have disagree. you seen the comments? I have seen the comments. They love Uncle Will, man. I, I'm not gonna lie, like you low key be kind of like dragging me a little bit. <laughs> no, first of all, no, I don't. A little bit. You told me I look like a G League <laughs> player last episode, and I didn't peep. You said that until I was at the gym <laughs> lifting weights. Woo! <laughs> and I dropped my five pound weights. That made me giggle a little bit. Yeah, you. Called I me forgot a I said that. Player. Um, I didn't call you when I said the br- the, the the you had the doo doo braids going on. Shout out to my girlies so. who do twist outs. Yeah, you gotta do your protective. St- I get it. I'm not because mad at it. Now look at me today. It's look at you popping. Black girl magic. It's popping. giving. I arrived. It's giving. Throw a pick. We in did it start late today because you were working on your hair. I but had a malfunction. It's all good, man. I'm not <laughs> and complaining I hope you about don't it. See it, but I did. You know what I'm saying? Is it th- this part right here? No, I'm joking. <laughs> you can't see it. You can't see it. So rude. In other news, you know when I get up on here, it's Hold on. Can we refer back to the last episode uh, for a little bit? Okay. The funniest part of the last <laughs> no. episode. I just want to make sure everybody understands. I was not laughing at the lady who threw her wig up on the thing. No, you weren't. I was I had multiple people say, yo, Tay. Will was <laughs> laughing. <laughs> First of all, I had a cough. Uh, y'all know when I cough. This is be how getting, your face looks. It be <laughs> <laughs> you know when I have a cough, it be getting... I be getting like real coffee sometimes, <laughs> so I had to make sure of that. Episode two was great, though. We had a good time with episode two. Um, you never told us about. I thought about this today. You never told us about your birthday. You know, my birthday was great. What was the theme? I, Boo went crazy on this Boo one. Boo went crazy because you know we're not giving you his name, uh, <laughs> but Boo went crazy on okay. my birthday. Now let me tell you about my birthday. Sure. Now, th- when the time comes for me to get engaged. Okay. This is how I thought my ideal proposal would be. So now I'm like, God is just about to exceed my expectations. Oh, my goodness. Because you know the Lord will exceed it. <laughs> for my Preach. birthday, he gave me what I wanted for my proposal. Are you wow. crazy? Wow. Is that not the what God it, we serve? That was so church. <laughs> and you know so I love Baptist. it. So <laughs> Baptist. Look, I love it. <laughs> In his image shirt on. Yeah. So what do you do? What, help us out. Everybody didn't get invited, so let my us know. My birthday was a tiny desk. Wow, wow, wow. Weekend. Because you know I love a good tiny desk. You love a it tiny desk. It's called day. Taylor's Tiny Tunes Weekend. Weekend? Weekend. So each day was like themed by different that boy of my got favorite albums. That um, boy got that guacamole on him. little like napkins can't, with my face on it. Can't hide money. Um, there was like these questionnaires of like what songs make you think of Tay. Or um, Durves. Yeah. All of those things. Like he, he really did his thing. It was very thoughtful. Wow. Um, because I love a tiny desk. And some people don't know what tiny desk concerts are, um, but they take place in New York. Okay, they're very tiny, intimate concerts. I think it's DC. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Google it. My I'm girlies will tell me because you know what? They got my back. I'm pretty sure NPR tiny desk. Uh, not too much. Happens in Washington DC. Are you sure? I'm positive. Let's look it up. Let's. I mean. As you go, as we go, I'll look it up. We can Google it. Oh my gosh, One of our producers, producers already did. It's so it's in DC. I'm embarrassed. It girlies, is. it's in DC. <laughs> it is in Washington DC, but this is your podcast, so. <laughs> I said think? New York. You said it. Because r- everything great happens wrong in New York. Wrong and strong. I'm strong and wrong. Have you ever had a moment when you were strong and wrong? I mean. And how do you handle it? Wow. Because I'm doing it in front of millions. Loud. I mean, loud. That's besides the point. Loud with the wrong information. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy because there, there be some girlies who be loud. I mean. Y'all be loud with the wrong information. With the wrong information. So y'all need to relax a little bit. Okay, need to relax, but in other news, takes place in D.C. Um, Which is the greatest city in all in the world? <laughs> <laughs> that moment of silence. I didn't get I didn't get one amen right Let there. Let me tell you, it's the, the last city time I went to D.C., I was walking from the restaurant, a rat crawled across my foot. But you're I about- howled so loud because you can expect it in New York City. 
But in D.C. You don't think just because the president there, there's no rats? Every, it's <laughs> rats in every city. I'm just saying it was giving dirt bucket. It's rats in every city. It was giving dirt. First of all, it's rats in every raggedy city everybody <laughs> from, so <laughs> let's not do that. It was huge. i tell you, it's a city. It's a major city. Greatest city in the world. Okay. God's favorite football team. Okay, we're going to talk about that on another episode. <laughs> football. It's God's I'm favorite football sure team. But I'm pretty sure it's not the Washington, whatever they're called. Um, because they changed their name like 15 times in the last year. <laughs> How could I? Okay, we're not going to go there. In other news, I was wrong. Takes place in Washington, Washington D.C. That's right. Um, but they're just intimate concerts, and I love it. I feel like during COVID, they started getting more popular. I mean, they've been doing them forever. But they've been doing them forever. I think COVID, part of it was just like, I think they started doing it more often mm-hmm. in COVID because everybody was home. And uh, so they were like sending out really good content, and it helped artists make make some money generate make some, some right. generate some stuff for them so i love the npr tiny desk as a musician myself you know i live for that tell the people no tell my girlies what how many instruments do you play this isn't the armor podcast yeah. we're not going to get into ah! this <laughs> we're not going to get into that okay we're not going to get into that i play a couple instruments i don't play any instruments earlier they asked me if i knew what a tuba was and I, tuba a tuba that's because we were talking about a tiny desk and you were like this dude playing a trumpet and i was like you mean the saxophone yeah i don't know i don't know any instruments I played the violin as a kid. So you had an NPR taste tiny table? I had a t- Taylor's Tiny Tunes weekend. <sighs> okay. wow. um, and so my favorite album, there's two of my favorite albums, which is Frank Ocean, Channel Orange, and then the Her album. Those are two great albums. I don't think there's any skips on either one of those albums. There's no skips on either one of those albums. Channel Orange is one of the best albums. I would agree. It's probably the in the last 30 years, probably like the second or third best like R&B album. Yeah, Pyramids ever. is untouchable. Obviously, Confessions is the greatest R&B album of all time. Okay, in other news, well, we're just going <laughs> to... You agree. No, I don't agree. Tay. Because one thing I'm going to do on, on here Hold is up, Tay. not Hold agree. Hold up, Tay. Confessions? Is the best? That's It's probably the best. Off the top of my head, I was not prepared with ammunition. And I wasn't a- prepared for you to say that. I'm probably going to go with Confessions. I'm not going to tell you what I truly think because I know if I say what I truly think, I'm going to get dragged. What do you truly think? Not sure. Podcast. Usher, say what you. Usher's think. cool. <laughs> hey yo. Usher's cool. Hey yo. I'm not going to lie. His tiny desk. I mean, I looked at it the other day. 16 million views. Because it's Usher. But you know what made me mad about Usher's tiny desk? He didn't move. He doesn't have to. He was like. Uh, he hit the. He hit the. Uh, yeah, but he hit us with the this. But then he was just, he just kept doing this, like, lean. He don't have to do nothing else. He's Usher. I was disappointed. U-S-H. Yeah, okay. Usher's so. the greatest R&B sing, male singer, probably. The, what? I mean, you got Michael Jackson, if you consider Thank him. You. If, you, if you, consider you consider him, him R&B. What? Michael Jackson. He's just nicknamed the king of pop, so I'm like, I don't know if we can go okay, R&B. Okay, yeah, he's the king of pop. There's another person that I think is the greatest R&B. Are you going to say Luther? No. I, I, who, the person, I can't say the person's name. I do not condone this person's oh, okay. musical okay. behavior, but this okay. person is the greatest. I don't know who you're talking about, but I feel like I kind of know who you're talking about. He is the greatest contributor to R&B to ever live, including Michael Jackson. But here's T. I kind of like Chris Brown. But here's my, here's my only take on this. Chris Brown doesn't, his best song uh-huh. is not as good as uh, any of Usher's top five songs. I would disagree. And also, I would All I'm going to tell you is... Uh, uh, Chris Brown is a better dancer good and for, a better performer. Good for Chris. Performer. He has to. He's got a lot to overcompensate for. A lot to overcompensate for is wild. <laughs> Which is with some of the other stuff he's got going on. Uh, Usher, on the other hand, mm-hmm. uh, Chris Brown doesn't have a song as good as Burn. He doesn't have a song as good as Burn. Yo, tell me, fellas, have you seen... Uh, it was about five minutes ago when I seen the hottest chick that it, yeah. <laughs> it's going to burn for me to say this. It's coming from the heart. But a long time. C- come on, man. Stop We're it. not even, c- stop it. Show you what your name stop is. Stop it. Can I get you, girl? Stop it. With stop. You, if you, like, come on, he got some bangers. I didn't say he doesn't. I, hold on, hold on. Right I'm not saying he does. I'm not saying he don't have know, bangers. We got to go our separate I'm just saying. You're just saying what? Confessions Part 2. See, Breezy don't have nothing touching Confessions Part 2. It, I don't agree. This is like us talking what about. What Usher contributed to him, Lil, Lil John, and Ludacris. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. See, Breezy don't have. There's and low-key lovers and friends, too. In this club, I will say Usher. Climax. Usher. It's, I'm just. Okay. If we start going song by this. song. Usher has bangers. That are better than Chris Brown. But he's not Chris Brown. How did you like Chris Brown's Tiny Desk? <laughs> it was great. 
Oh, wait. They just haven't had my man's on yet. Oh, okay. But I guarantee you, when he does... I could probably think of five R&B singers actively, male R&B singers that are putting out music right now better than Chris Brown. Oh, that's crazy. I could probably, I could probably think of five. No, like, that's, that's actually, like, I could probably think of five. I could probably think of five. Yeah. As the producer said, that's very toxic. I'm going to go Usher for sure. Frank Ocean for sure. That's not even a question. And I guess Frank is not putting out music, but hit the two albums we got out of Frank. Are you saying albums in general? Or you're saying Tiny Desk. Oh, albums. John Legend is better no than Luther? Chris Brown. Yeah, I mean Luther's a legend. He's that's Mount Rushmore. Oh, so is he in like a separate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Chris, Legend. Look, I'm saying Chris Brown. I'm also. I'm, I'm also. Tory. This might be a little. I'm gonna hurt some feelings. I'm taking Givy. I'm taking Givy on. Taking Givy on over Chris Brown. Ooh. I'm taking Givy on over Chris Brown. Ooh. Especially off that last album. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, there's a clip of Giveon on tour. He has a glass of wine in his hand. T-shirt tucked in. And they're singing uh, Heartbreak Anniversary. He doesn't have... They start the song. He don't even have to sing. Here's the thing. The entire arena is singing the song for him. Giveon is that guy... All his songs sound the same. That's the problem with him. There's no way we're having this conversation about about somebody's music sound the same, and you're talking about Chris Brown. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Every Chris Brown song you sang could have been verse one, verse two, verse three of the exact same song. What about Superhuman? <laughs> what about it? You can cry if you want to. <laughs> you can cry if you want to. Before I wake. It's cause you took my breath away. Losing you. Hey, wake me up when this boring song is over. Stop it. Yeah, I was about to say, oh. yeah, I was about to say that's <laughs> uh that's no air. Brown. What are you talking about? That's exactly why we're on here today. But no air, no, this, air this, this, no air is a great song. No air is a great song. It is not <laughs> hold on. It's not better than my boo. Okay, that's a classic. I'm just saying, when you start getting in, into collaborations, oh. when you start getting into so Singles, when you start getting the albums, Usher wins at every level. I don't think he wins at every level, but... Usher wins at every level. John Legend's beating him at every level. Chris Brown doesn't have a song as good as Ordinary People, and the conversation ends right there. He does not have a song as good as All of Me. All of... I seen a, I seen a, a see TikTok the other day. I yep, I seen a TikTok the other day. This dude was like, All of Me dusting himself off to carry the entire summer of weddings. And I was like, absolutely. Because that song... I what happened. would I do without your smart mouth? That line alone. So go ahead, give me another Sea Breezy song. Let me talk to you. Show you how it is. Run it. Come on, man. We're not even having the same conversation. Deuces? Come, now listen. The Deuces remix. Deuces? Hold up. The Deuces remix goes crazy. Kanye had to get something off his chest in that one. And Andre 3000 who's my favorite artist of all time, Andre 3000, went stupid on the Deuces remix. And he got a Super Bowl commercial out of it a decade later. Listen, we're going to agree to disagree. I'm taking, I need, I'm my nieces, I need you to let me know. Usher or Chris Brown? Usher versus Chris Brown, who are you taking? We're still waiting on the verses. The obvious answer is Usher. The obvious old, answer the is Usher. old school Jen is going to say Usher. Old school Jen? The old school generation is for sure going to I almost Usher. called you a bad word. Who's old? <laughs> <laughs> you just turned 30. You got your flops on. <laughs> You're old. <laughs> you got your flops. He has his flops on. Y'all can't see. He got his slides on. Every every time. What's wrong with the slides? The old school generation is going to say Usher, and I, I'm going to get dragged in the comments. You're getting dragged. Yeah. I, listen, and I'm not saying. You're trying to. You're trying to play Usher right now. I'm not, no, trying, I'm not to, trying to play Usher. I'm not trying to play Chris Brown. Chris Brown is great. He's one of the greats. He ain't Usher. They're, I, I'm believing that they're going to have a verse. Stop it, yo. He's not Usher. In other news, it's Black Music Month. Chris Brown is to Usher what Ari Lennox is to Jasmine Sullivan. Res- I, I love him, but come the on, level yo. Of disrespect. Come on, man. Usher, come on, man. Stop it. The, the you're man's- taking Chris Brown like as if he's just nothing. No, I didn't say that. I've been giving him his flowers this whole time. See Breezy is is the guy. He's that guy. He's that guy. He will go down in history as one of the greats. Confidence with Drake? He is not Usher. 
Stop it. I can't. Stop. You know what? I'm not even going to get it. Love in this club goes crazy. A black let's, music let's be honest. Outside of Whitney Houston, Jasmine Sullivan might be the greatest singer to ever live. I agree. She up there with Brandy and like Mariah Carey just on a, the pure gift of her voice. None yeah. of them are touching Whitney Houston. But Jasmine Sullivan is a whole other. I would agree. That's really what I meant. You know about. That's a whole other thing. Jasmine Sullivan. And she uh, runs laps. I'll share the same over Christmas. So, uh, t Tiny Desk. Tiny Desk. It's Black Music Month. That's right. Which is great. So, they're dropping, like, different black artists all month. That's right. And there's been a couple Tiny Desks that I've watched. You've watched. They've all gone crazy. They've all gone crazy. I would disagree. Hey. You're about to say... Either way, you're any, whatever you're about to say, you're getting ready to disrespect a legend. I'm not going to disrespect him. I just was bored. With who? Uncle Charlie. Oh, God. Yeah. Uncle Charlie's hey man. tiny desk. Hey, man. I had multiple people text me, like, with the fire emoji. Because it was one of the best tiny desks ever. Oh, wow. Now, we just talked about Usher. I'm not going to lie. Usher had a good tiny desk. Uncle Charlie's tiny desk was incredible. What made it the best? I didn't say the best. I said one of the best one ever. One of the best. What made it one of the best? First of all, that he could take us through 50 years of music is crazy. Oh, my gosh. That's what I was doing. I fell asleep. The only thing that he, woke Yo, he legit gave his testimony <laughs> and had a praise break. I know he had a praise break. I was actually annoyed because it was so... How somebody's praise annoying to you? No, 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 no. Hold on. <laughs> How is somebody's Don't try praise... Don't annoying to you his praise was not an don't try to switch it up i just was like out of all the tiny desk concerts i've seen help me understand like, why him giving god the praise annoyed you so much okay so please bring some clarity to, to that do? what am i trying to are you ju did you no, not just say not that what I meant. what'd you mean i just meant like it was long you said annoyed though i was annoyed because it was long it wasn't no longer than any other up like what are you talking about because you know a tiny desk they cut it real short like they'll do snippets of the song the praise break was like 40 minutes. <laughs> oh my the praise break was 40 minutes. So when people give God praise, you would rather them not take as long? In other news. In other news. You You're saying there? you fell asleep? I fell asleep. To Uncle Charlie's. One thing I'm going to do is fall asleep. Oh, my goodness, man. There were two songs on there that I was like, ah. Com two? Computer Love. Because I was like, oh, when I be skating sometimes, they be playing this. Now yeah. she skate. She get one little boyfriend. Now she skate. I'm skating now. Now you skate. Computer now you love. roll bounce. <laughs> <laughs> How come every time you sing, you sound like a Baptist alto singing <laughs> Now Behold the Lamb at the Christmas concert every year? Listen, when he hit me with that, I was like, okay, we Computer love is one of the And that's then it. when he got to the, when I get to the end, then I was like, oh, That was no. it? Was, yeah, everything else in between, I was like, okay, we could do without. Yeah, you just don't know the music. That don't make it bad. No, don't make it boring. No, it's not that it was. Don't try, no, I'm, it was not out of all the tiny desks I've seen. I'm like, okay, this is probably like not one of my least favorite, but it's like I'm bored. Y'all, I'm sorry. I think about Sullivan. I think about I Gideon, apologize, y'all. I think about um, Ari Lennox. I think about I all those people that have dropped tiny desks. I was like, okay, I'm bored. <sighs> Tay. But you know who did have a good tiny desk that dropped the week after? I thought Babyface was tiny desk. It's Babyface. It's Babyface. He ate. Babyface has written a song for every single artist of I ever. I did not know that. I, he's, yeah, I didn't know he's been he producing. Fall Out Boy. Babyface got to be 60 now. 65? How old is Babyface? He's got to be He's got to be in his 60s. <laughs> he aged. He has to be in his 60s. Now, there was... 64 years old. You like Uncle Charlie's over... Like, who, who's Tiny Desk as a whole were you like? Why we got to be competitive? This, it's Black Music Month. I love both of them. You started with Usher and Chris Brown? Because Usher's better than Chris Brown. I loved both of them. Charlie, um, what Uncle Charlie was doing was singing his music. Babyface did more of a like, let me walk y'all through some of what I've actually contributed to music. I'm annoyed. And Babyface came with uh, Avery? Avery Wilson was up there. Tank was up there. Tank was up there. Uh, what you call it was singing was uh, he had um, Shantae up there with him. I'm like, yeah, you had. But hear me. Three that's of the best background singers in the that's last. What, that's what makes a good Tiny Desk. It's not just the music that you you created. It is the people you have singing background vocals for you. Oh, my goodness. It's, a, it's the drummers. It's all of it. It's the vibe. 
Tank. Uncle Charlie had his glasses on, <laughs> What's wrong the with beanie that? joint, and the Versace <laughs> he did have jacket. The beanie, he had the beanie on the, the uncle way. The uncle way. He and had I the joint. Like, he had the joint like this. <laughs> yeah. He had the joint like this with the shades on, and the shades was coming down over top of the chin. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Somebody should have got him right with the beanie. But other than that, I'm like, yo, his story is incredible. Being a lead singer of the Gap Band, he literally was like, yo, I, alcoholism ruined my life. And I was like, he went from rags to riches back to rags. That, that's why. He, <laughs> You're laughing. Hold on. Are you laughing at his testimony? No. <laughs> I would never laugh at anyone's testimony. It sounded like you was laughing. And then he goes, yo, I think I'm going to retire. I think I'm making music. And then Yams he, comes to him. Yams, he, he, he ate that. Come on, man. What are you talking? Don't say that. Okay. I, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Don't say what? that. What? <laughs> Come on, man. You got to be smarter than that. Don't do that. Black. <laughs> you get a one little boyfriend. <laughs> oh, my God. Black Music Month was, I think. It Ty Tribbett's Tiny Desk was incredible. Oh, yeah. Ty Tribbett, I think, is very underrated. Well, I don't know if he's on. He's like the second or third greatest, beta, uh, best gospel was, artist of all time. I was going to say something controversial again, but I'm just. I, say I'm it. Already no, known. go ahead. Do it. I don't. Do it. Say it. No, because you're like, we're not doing the comparison thing. No, nah, do it. Go, it. go, 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 like, go, go. Mm -hmm. Stick to your convictions, man. How to courage Kirk. your convictions. What's wrong? Kirk or Kirk Ty. Stop it. Look, I'm not even talking English Stop. no more. I said Kirk. <laughs> there is no Ty trip without Kirk Franklin. Stop it. Okay. That, that those, that, Stop. I just like to say things to get people going, you know. Like even if they're people, com even if they're completely baseless and don't make any <laughs> sense. <laughs> like people, that B comment, I'm, I'm like. Oh, you're cooked. I'm cooked. You are cooked. Well, that's not really what I meant. You I know? might need to. We might need to cut that out for the sake of taste safety. I, I really do think she can sing. I just, I just. And like, she's gotten much better over yeah, the course I just of think her she's career. Not Jasmine like now, now I'm like, yo, Beyonce's a phenomenal singer. Yes. The training and the, she put the work in. Good for her. Yo, she put Jasmine the Sullivan was 11 years old on the Yo, show Tama clip? de Paolo. Like, if you didn't see it, you need to look it up on YouTube. She's incredible. She, yeah, she can sing. Um, but I love Tiny Desk concert. But here's the thing, I don't always know. <laughs> Which is why well, I'm even so frustrated myself that we even having this conversation because you don't be knowing nobody. I don't really be knowing Matter nobody. Matter of fact, I'm about to put you to the test right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't really be knowing nobody, but I know like. Some of the lyrics. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I don't always know the artist and I don't always know the name yeah. of the song. Okay. So like you're about to, I'm about to you're about to try to embarrass me, like when you told me I look like a G League basketball player. <laughs> and I'm not doing it this time around. Who sings uh Can We Talk? Oh, I just heard that. Who sings it? That's um what's his name? <laughs> what's his name? No, like honestly we're not doing this. Who sings it? We are not doing this. Who sings My it? My girlies will tell me. No, who sings can we talk? Uncle Will, <laughs> I cannot believe you. <laughs> See, every black person knows this. Campbell. <laughs> but hear me. It's not that I don't Campbell, know the song. I don't always, can't always put the song and the artist you don't, together. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't know who's... Tay's trying to have a conversation with me about R&B, and Guys, she doesn't know who sings Can We Talk. Listen. My dad was very strict growing up. I couldn't, I wasn't allowed to listen. Was you just turned 30. Gospel. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. I know songs. I don't always know the artist. Say, who sings Before I Let Go? Oh, my gosh. I know all the you, you at least know that one. Who sings Before <laughs> I Let Go? I'm not doing this. Like. Who sings Before <laughs> I Let Go? You Maze. At, no. <laughs> I'm so who sings Sweet Love? Who sings Sweet Love? Sweet Love. Who sings it? It's either <laughs> Ania Baker. There we go. I'm not dapping. You got one out After of three, you just embarrassed three me. legendary songs. But one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be confident. Okay? <laughs> strong, and I told y'all. Strong and wrong. I know the song. You not knowing Tevin Campbell sings Can We Talk is a problem for me. No. You not knowing F Frankie Beverly <laughs> is a problem for me. I know, but I don't like know. And I think that that's a lot of people. What do you mean? It's, a, it's three songs. What are you talking about? No, it's I'm a like, lot of people. Like people who, like, you know the song. Like, you're oh out, my goodness. You're in the car. You're like, oh, I know the song. You don't always know the artist. But this, it's Black Music Month. You need to know these. Okay, well, this is enough. Who sings, tell me what you want. He's doing this on purpose. Tell me what you need. 
Two. Yes, the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is mighty. You don't know gospel either. We can have that conversation if you want to. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, we're not. This isn't a roast tape. No, it's not a roast tape, but I'm like, it's Black I, Music I Month. I said it. I don't know always the artist. It's a black, it's black Music Month. Who be singing some of these gospel songs? Who wrote Total Praise? You got to know that, obviously. Total Praise is the greatest praise. gospel song ever <laughs> really of to, all time. I'm really about to be. Hold on, hold on. Who, who wrote Total Praise? You know that answer. You know that answer. Even with the producers feeding you the, the, the answer right now. Obviously, you know who wrote Total Praise. You know what I mean? Go ahead, I, say it. Just say it into the microphone. I'm not. I'm not doing this. So that everybody knows that you know the greatest gospel song. I know song. the lyrics. I could sing it if I was in the pew. But, I could be an alto. All right, all right, who but I don't always know who <laughs> Richard Smallwood. Because <laughs> the freaking producer just held his name I up on the always, Remaking. Sure. Remake after remake after sure, remake. Sure, sure, sure. But in the sanctuary, you know who wrote in the sanctuary. In the sanctuary. Yeah. Uh, we lift our hands to get. Get. Who wrote that? You know who wrote that. You know who wrote that. No. Tay, it's Black Music Month. And I've been listening to music all month. Tay, it's I Black don't Music always Month. always know the artist. It's Black Music Month. I just don't always know the artist. You don't know Kurt Carr? I don't I I've seen I've heard him. I've obviously heard the song. I just don't always know the artist. Give me one other song he's Kurt Carr's written. It's Black Music Month. <laughs> and this episode was important because I love my culture. Even I, though you have no I idea love. who does anything. <laughs> That's not even true. Not anything. You got, I, I, I named you six, seven songs. You got one. I'm going to just tell y'all this. I've been like this since a kid. People, I would hear songs. I'm like, oh, I like this song. But I can never, oh, I don't be remembering the artist. You be knowing the ratchet artist. I don't. I don't. I don't. Come on, let's wrap the show up. I don't want to embarrass you any I don't further. always know. I don't always know. But I okay. do think what you listen to matters. I agree with you. What I you listen to matters. That. And so, girlies. Don't be like me. Listen to this stuff and you don't know who the And you don't have no is. idea who it is. And you don't know what you're putting in your, <laughs> in your spirit. In your spirit. Uh, because you could get caught up. You get caught up and not know Richard Smallwood and Kurt Franklin and Kurt Carr and Hezekiah Walker. You I know, know what I mean? Walker. You don't know Hezekiah Walker. All right, but yeah. How do people get connected and stay connected with us? The girlies get connected and the nephews too because oh, I yeah. Oh, they'd the be in the comments. comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this subscribe to my youtube channel follow uh -huh. me on instagram yeah. all of the things she's every, dope pod she's dope pod every tuesday every tuesday every tuesday hopefully next week you know at least one artist at <laughs> love y'all <one>. <laughs> love y'all <laughs>